the one anymore, would it? I'd have something different. That wouldn't make one, that would be a different expression. So whatever you have here, whatever your conjugate is, you have it in both spots. This is actually being multiplied by one, that's why we're not changing the value, we're just changing the way it looks. Are you okay with this so far? Yeah. Now, remember all that stuff we did with distribution? We foiled out all those, those radicals. You know why we did that? Oh boy. Oh boy. Does it look familiar? If you ignore the bottom, can you do that? If you ignore the top, can you do that? This is why I had to do all that stuff. Listen, it gets kind of nasty on those problems on your homework that, that you've been doing, right? You have a lot of things going on. Be careful on the stuff. You've got to be rock solid on the, on the distribution in order to get these problems correct. So be careful. Don't go too fast. Write out all the steps. You ready to do this? Yeah. Firstly, are you okay making it this far? We're going to see exactly what happens when we distribute now. What happens to those roots? Let's deal with the, the top first. That's the easy part. Deal with the numerator first. If I deal with the numerator, let's be very careful on this. We do 3 times 2 root 5. How much is 3 times 2 root 5? 6 root 5. Not 6 root 30? Yeah. Or 6 root 15, I mean? 30. <laughs> well, I don't know how you do no, that. That's that definitely not that. Sure, we get the 6. Root 5. And then minus how much, ladies and gentlemen? Mm -hmm. Good. Numerator is nice in this problem. You're, you're done. That's it. Denominator takes a little bit more work. Denominator, you are still going to FOIL. We're going to write out everything when we FOIL this. All right? This is the, the trickier part. So when we FOIL, of course we get 2 root 5 times 2 root 5. Are you with me so far? See, where those things come from, I hope. We're going to get, do you see it, plus or minus here? minus 2 root 5 times 1. Then we're going to get plus 1 times 2 root 5. That's an awkward line, isn't it? And then lastly we'll get how much? I need to take a close look at that. You've got five seconds to look that over. Can you do that on your own? Hey, raise your hand if you can. Feel okay with it. Good. It's just our distribution. We really haven't done much math. We've just distributed. We should have one, two, three, four terms because we're multiplying two terms times two terms. We have that. Now is the part where we get to simplify this. Are you ready for it? Yes. I'm going slowly. I'm making sure you understand this because it's kind of an important concept and people lose it right here. Not like, whoa, but like they lose their track. So 6 root 5 minus 3, sure. This one especially is where people get lost a little bit. You got 2 root 5 times 2 root 5. What can you multiply together and get out of this? Firstly, what about the, the 2 and the 2? Can you multiply those things? Yeah, yeah you're going to get how much? Four. Definitely 4. Now here's the deal, all right? There's got to be a difference in your head between adding roots and multiplying roots. You see, if we were to add this, watch carefully on the board, please, everybody's eyes should be on the board right now. If I were to add this, this would be 4 root 5. Are you with me? That would be 4 root 5. Do you agree? Yes. If I'm multiplying it, are you still going to give me 4 root 5? No. No, because no, multiplication is different than addition. Multiplication says, sure, I multiply these 2's and I get 4. I multiply the root 5's. How much is root 5 times root 5? Five? Five. It's not root 5 anymore, is it? That would be added. I'm multiplying here, it gives me 5. No more root, 5. You see the difference? Yeah. Okay, so multiplication and addition have to be different in your heads. Now here's the cool part. Okay, check this out. How much is minus 2 root 5 times 1? So that's pretty much gone, right? And 1 times something is pretty much gone because when you multiply by 1, you get that same expression. What's minus 2 root 5 plus 2 root 5? Zero. This is the bread and butter of why this thing works. If you have the same expression being added and subtracted, they are gone. They simplify to a zero. You, as if you want to say cancel them out, they cancel out. That's what the different signs do for you. They make plus and minus the same expression every time. That's why a difference of squares worked the way it did. Do you remember that? That's kind of neat, right? And these middle expressions are what's going to have your root. 
The reason why these have the root, and this one doesn't, when you multiply a root times itself, it, it goes away. That's great. That's why this whole thing works. Lastly, we still have a minus 1. But notice how there is no root. All you got to do now is multiply and add some numbers, and you'll be done on this problem. How many will feel okay with this so far? That's why the conjugate works the way it does. It simplifies out the middle terms. So we'll do one more step. 6 root 5 minus 3 over, that gives you? 21. Minus 1? 19. You're done. No more root. Full number. Kind of cool. Is it that? Are they always going to be square roots? Or are they to keep roots? That's a good question. The answer is yes. These problems will all be square roots. You see, the problem is if you have a cube root, this does not work at all. If you have fourth, any other type of root, that doesn't work at all. Because you can't multiply a cube root times itself and get the radicand. Here, the only reason why this works is because you can do that with a square root. You can say, oh, this is always going to give you five. That's a cube root that doesn't happen anymore, and you're stuck. You can't do it. Are you with me? Okay. So, yeah, these are all going to be square roots. It's kind of nice, actually. None of this type looking stuff in this type of problem. You should be thanking me right now. <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> You are going to have a problem just like this one. Well, not the blank part, but the thing I'm going to write. In, on your test. Ooh. Now that's a problem. That's a problem. Now, you've got to read it carefully. You've got to know whether I'm asking you to rationalize the numerator or rationalize the denominator. Because it's important, because you're going to do a different thing. If I were asking you to rationalize the numerator, that would mean trying to get rid of these roots. True? You'd be multiplying by the square root of 5 minus the square root of 3 over the square root of 5 minus the square root of 3 to rationalize the numerator. If I'm asking you like I am, this is, has all been denominators, if I'm asking you to rationalize the denominator, which that's what this question is, I can't multiply by these two things. Can you tell me what I do, someone on the left-hand side of the room over here, what I do need to multiply by? Don't all talk at once. Uh, square root of 3 plus the square root of 2. Square root of 3. And you said what now? Plus, uh, plus. plus the square root of 2. That's going to rationalize the denominator. Square root of 3 plus the square root of 2. Where am I getting those things? Is that magic? I wish. <laughs> kind of cool if I had magic. I try to use the force all the time, like Luke Skywalker. That never works either. No? <laughs> I tried in my last class to get the razor. Ah, that never works. Never. Not once. One time I made it move, I think. But I could have just been getting dizzy. Uh, anyhow, so we're, we're looking at this expression trying to rationalize this thing. We get exactly the same roots. The only difference is the sign in the middle is opposite. That's it. You all right? Let's get in the conjugate here. So multiply by the conjugate of whatever you're trying to rationalize here is the denominator. Now, the next part, this is the hard part for people because you have a lot of roots going on, a lot of stuff. If you're not good at it, you're, you're going to make some mistakes. If we're doing this in our head, chances are a lot higher that we're going to be making those mistakes. So we, we do understand that we're multiplying, right? Which means we've got some parentheses everywhere. And we're going to have a whole lot of distribution going on. Let's go nice and slow. Let's see exactly what we get. Let's go right side of the room. Tell me the first couple things I'm going to get with my numerator. I'm going to have a really long expression here. What's the first thing I'm going to get, please? Square root of what? Five times what? Not that, right? That. I want you to write it out. I want you to write it out. Because the, the thing about it is, if I give you this, and I give you 
like three instead of the square root of three, you're gonna have something a lot different. I want you to write it out, go slowly, don't do this stuff in your head, uh, write out every little part of it, and then do the math. We're still learning this stuff. Okay, let's keep going. Right side of the room, I'll, I'm going to have you do the entire numerator, and left side, I'll have you do the denominator. So right side, keep going. What's the next thing that I need, please? Square root of plus. Oh, plus. Okay, that's important. And then what? Uh-huh. Okay, cool. Let's keep going. What's the next thing I need? Plus, all right. Okay, and somebody else, let's finish this off. What's the last thing? Perfect. You say plus? Yes. <coughs> By a show of hands, how many people feel okay getting that form? Good, that's our basic distribution. We have root 5, root 3. We have root 5, root 2. Root 3, root 3, root 3, root 2. We have those expressions right here. We've just foiled that out. We should have four terms. One, two, three, four terms. We're good to go. Left side of the room, let's do the denominator the same way. What's the first thing we're going to get, please? Square root 3, root 2. Square root 3 times what? Square root 3. Perfect. That's yeah, exactly right. Here times here. What's the next thing we're going to Minus. get, somebody else? Minus? Yeah. Minus what? Square um, root of 2. Well, you can do it backwards, I suppose. It just depends on which way we're going. Hugo, were you talking about this one or this one? This one. Yeah. Then you're okay. Absolutely. I'm sure. I'm guessing most of you want that one first. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> so. <laughs> You're like, wait a second, no. <laughs> yeah, we did this one. If you want to do this one first, then yes, you're going to get a plus. And what's this one going to be? Minus. Minus. <laughs> and that one's going to be minus. Um, okay, you, you probably also don't like that, do you? You probably like that. <laughs> and then this one is going to be root 2 times root 3. Are we all better? Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah. you have your nice blanket on now? <laughs> oh, my. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Hugo, you were right. You're fine. As long as you get all four terms, you have the right signs and the right <laughs> expressions. Now, let's work on... There's only one choice for the last one. Okay, you can't mess this one up. What, what, what's our sign next? Minus. Yeah, and then what? Perfect. First, you're feel okay getting that far. Good. We've just distributed. have all our terms out. Now's the part where you've got to simplify, well, actually, multiply whatever roots you can. Remember that if you don't have roots here, if I were to change that problem to not a root 3 but a 3, a lot of this stuff would not be the same. You see what I'm talking about? Yep. Big, a much different answer. But here we have all roots times all roots. That's, that's great. This is going to give you the square root of what? Plus the square root of 10. Plus, oh, how about this? What's the square root of 3 times the square root of 3? What's that going to give you? How much? Three. three. Absolutely. That's going to be square root of nine or three. We know a square root times itself gives you the radicand. Notice, no square root around that thing. And then plus how much? Square root of six. Root fifteen, root ten, three. Root six. Yes, no? Mm -hmm. Okay. On the on the denominator, we have the square root of three times square root of three. How much does that give you? Three. Perfect. We have the square root of and we have minus the square root of 6. And then lastly, we have, how much is that? 2. 2. So minus 2. Not minus 4. Not minus anything else besides 2. Not the square root of 2. We have 2.